Hi, thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act Two. This time for gray matters. You know, the gray matter in your head, the gray hair on your head, it all matters. It Not all me. matters. Hmm? <laughs> Yeah, you, big guy. Oh. Hey, um, folks, you may not remember this, but Celebrating Act 2, Art and I created Celebrating Act 2 um, as the user manual for the rest of your life, for the second half of your life, for everybody over 50. And that's what Gray Matters is. Art and I are get together. We find stuff. Uh, we look at it uh, on the Internet. And we say this is really important for people to know. And, of course, we've got a wide variety of sub mm -hmm. subjects. And um, and we bring them to you every week. Hopefully, you'll uh, find them useful. We'd love to hear from you about them. And Art, you've got the first one. You're up. Okay. So uh, what I found uh, this week, and uh, I'm the engineer here, so you know, don't get on my train necessarily. Uh, but first thing I found was an interesting site about all the streaming shows that could be of interest to to people like us. And I saw this one here. I'm going to go over to it, uh, look a little closer, which is uh, entertainment, basically the streaming shows on Netflix and Hulu and all the rest of them. And uh, there's some interesting ones here. And there are some that I know that we watch a lot uh, around our house. So uh, uh, Grace and Frankie, uh, we've probably seen all of them. One of my favorite, the Kaminsky Method. So, but the important thing is that that uh, if you go to this site, which is sponsored by some kind of health provider, uh, which is great because they went ahead and they curated this information, you may find something that you weren't aware of. Uh, so scan like, down a little further. Okay, so uh, like uh, this uh, thing called Trust on Hulu, I had never heard of it before, and it's, it's uh, something I'm probably going to check out. Um, uh, these period pieces, my wife loves these things. I don't watch them at all, but if you're not familiar with them. Here's a good place to find it, or to encourage you to go out and say, yeah. entertainment, interesting for seniors, okay? And then you'll get your own list, and you, maybe you can share them with us as well. Go, go down, yeah. I wanted to see games and reality programs. Yeah. So I think yeah. that if, if Jeopardy's not on here, it should be. It is. Jeopardy's on here. My wife and I watch it every night. But uh, there's a whole bunch of other uh, Wheel of Fortune, which, of course, most of us have seen. But here's uh, the great British... Baking show, and so you yeah. don't have to, you don't have to go to Britbox. You can find something <laughs> uh, that's British that's uh, probably free on Netbox. So what we're going to do, John? All I want to say is there's tons of stuff on here I found interesting. Some I knew, some I didn't know, and right. uh, uh, so I thought I'd, sh I'd share it with all of us. What about you? Well, what, do, what do you? I, what do you got? You know, I Art. I have to tell you, I think that's a valuable site um, because. There is so much on cable television these mm -hmm. days. And they, all these different uh, services, Hulu and BritBox and Paramount right. Plus, and oh my, it really, uh, you don't know what to watch. And quite frankly, if you're uh, on a fixed budget, as most of us are, you don't want to start watching something and paying another $15 a year for that service. Right. So you have to be kind of careful. And this is a great... Of course, if you have grandkids, site. you've got to build in the Disney Channel. Just yeah. get over it. <laughs> this okay. is a great little site. Now, I came across something maybe a little bit more important to people oh. than uh, what to watch. Yeah. Uh, as you know, I am a big fan of the Roth IRA. I have one. I did not know about it when it came out. And I only discovered it uh, years later. Uh, I would say probably only about six or eight years ago. And I started moving money into a Roth IRA, which is a long story. I don't want to get into how to invest. But it, I'm always interested in uh, IRAs and 401ks and that kind of stuff. I came across this article, The Disadvantages of Roth IRAs. Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself, I read as I read it, scroll down and you'll see some of their the drawbacks. Um, here are the key takeaways and stuff. As I read it, I recognized that I know because I've been involved in a Roth IRA, I knew most of this, but not all of it. And um, as much as I love the Roth IRA and I recommend it to my grandchildren and my children, keep scrolling down, see if there's more uh, art. Yeah, uh, there's, here's, uh, I think, the, the basic is the Roth versus a traditional IRA. 
Uh, and of course, as you can see, they've got sponsors here, how to invest, you know, hit JP Morgan, Charles Schwab. But the important thing that I found about this is that it is all of these IRAs, all of these financial things, all the government stuff, including Social Security and Medicare, they're filled with rules, they're confusing, and something like this, even though it's kind of negative, what's wrong with an IRA, you know, that kind of approach, even though it's a negative approach, it can be very valuable information. I think if you're going to consider uh, a Roth IRA or, you know, reject it, you really need to read both sides of the story. And this is a this is a good website for that. So yeah, and by the way, I'm going to I'm going to uh, opine uh, for a moment here that um, uh, I didn't know anything about this. And when you first told me about it, it, it was hard for me to believe. But even though you don't get the tax deduction uh, uh, or, or the tax avoidance uh, because it's taxable income when you put it in, anything that grows in there. OK, particularly if you've yeah. got the high tech and everything, when you take it out, you don't get taxed on it at that point. So I yeah. found that hard to believe when you first told me about it three, four years ago. And boy, is that important information. So it, this, this this, and other sites, you know, yep. go to this site. We'll have it all listed in the description and then you can search yeah. for yourself. Roth IRA, IRAs, especially, you know, maybe you take some tax losses and so you can bury your income. And whatever it is, this is something worth looking at and talking to your broker about. Just remember, just remember, everything has a downside, everything has an upside, and you got to examine it carefully. No, the only, the only thing I would say that has no downside is subscribing to Celebrating Act 2. So <laughs> let me just say that there, I there love are, that. Yeah. There, there is one thing that, so let's go on to my next tab. All right, what's the next tab on our browser? So uh, uh, Linda and I don't use these groups, but my parents did. Uh, and uh, they were kind of an odd duck at the time uh, uh, in the world. There weren't too many of them, which is uh, uh, travel groups that are designed for seniors. And it's interesting that when I found this site, and uh, I'm going to go through a couple of them here uh, to give you an idea, is that uh, they have it for people who are very fit or for people maybe who have disabilities and need uh, ramps and people pushing you sure. around and stuff like yeah. that. Uh, so here are people who are walking, so they're still fit and hearty. And they have all sorts of trips. For, I think there's kayaking trips and cycling trips. Uh, the one that I sort of uh, rang uh, a personal note for me is my parents, I remember, went to Europe on things called Elder Hostels. And this company has re it's more more of uh, interesting things and learning, go to museums and things like that. Uh, but now they changed it to Road Scholar. OK, not Rhodes, but Road Scholar. But it sort of gives you that feel. And so I found that very interesting uh, that they rebranded it. But uh, I know that my parents love that. Uh, and there are something called Elder Tricks, Tricks. So what they've done is they've actually made a whole bunch of uh, uh, kinds of uh, uh, groups that put together groups of like-minded people, even within yeah. the senior groups that fit your lifestyle, fit your physical condition. Yeah. Uh, but overseas, there are also these that uh, when we think of uh, uh, these kind of trips, we're thinking of Europe a lot, but it's also yeah. Asia. There are these kind of trips to Canada as well. So, well, there, you know, Art. If I'm not mistaken, this page is really about groups. This is about groups of travelers yeah. who get together because they like the same thing, mm -hmm. right? As opposed to a travel agent who puts together a tour right, that but, you might like but you know, in, that, in China or wherever. But these are people who lead you around as opposed to setting you up on your own. So these yeah. are putting together groups that that uh, will, and they can help take care of your, your needs. Here's one that's Obviously, is uh, England, uh, or I guess it might be England, might be their primary thing. Uh, anyway, it's worth a look. And my suggestion is go to this site and we'll have it listed down below because it's just one that I found that sort of had a by Travel and Leisure, which is a pretty well known magazine in the area. But there are dozens of these things around. I bet you can find it for just about any topic you're interested in and know that there'll be somebody there to help you around and you're not going to be left yeah. on your own. That's a you know that that's a, under travel and leisure. That's a great website uh, for travel and leisure. Obviously, 
Uh, but this is a real good page with lots of uh, specific groups that you can uh, right. find the one that's right for you. Uh, sure. Traveling with a group as you get older, I think is kind of important. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not a big world traveler. I haven't been to Europe yet, yeah. uh, but I'm not sure I'm going to either. So, uh, but for people who love to travel, and that's a large percentage of seniors, that's a great page. Yeah, great for me, page. for me, since I have a 25 year rolling plan, uh, I may uh, get to the point where I'm going to want some assistance uh, traveling. I may first start traveling extensively, so I'd want a group like this. Anyway, yeah. John, what yeah. do you got up first next? All right, so my next page, go to the next tab here. Mm -hmm. um, I was looking at, of course, thank goodness I don't need it yet, but I'm always looking forward to the possibility as we get older that we're going to need uh, personal care, health care. Mm -hmm. And I came across this site, which was, you know, it's kind of basic information about caregivers, but it was, I found it very useful. And it all it does, um, it, it's part of a, a, a company that provides caregivers, obviously, but it defines four common types of caregivers. And uh, here's the, the first one is uh, the family caregiver. Scroll down. We'll just go through the four of them. And they give examples, right? Mm -hmm. um, then it's a, a caregiver to her elderly mother. Go down to the next one. A private duty caregiver. Care, Caregiver, that's somebody you hire, obviously. Uh, and this is a company that will provide them. Home health care givers. And then with fourth one down the very bottom is uh, virtual caregivers, which I had not ever heard of. Uh, but what I found interesting about this was a simple overview of the, the fact that if you need care, there's different kinds of caregivers. And it uh, obviously, this company is in the website is uh, is in business to provide them for you. So useful, useful information. Hopefully, yeah. we're not going to need them. Well, also, you know, John, we all... John, this is this is great. I'm, I, I I would really appreciate it, the fact that you uh, uh, exposed us to this this week because I think it was just last week we were talking about uh, the costs of caregiving of of uh, yes. extended care and things like that. So this is all that same world. And, you know, while it's not uh, the kind of ha-ha funny uh, uh, Seinfeld uh, uh, kind of thing that you'd want to spend time on, more and more of, of us are either going to need this kind of thing or we yep. need it for our aging parents. Yep. And uh, it, th there are lots of resources to get the basics before you get into having to deal with this thing on a, on a regular right. basis. Right. All right. So do you want to leave us on a lighter note? Oh, please. We love to love to have a good laugh once in a while. Uh, Reader's Digest, if you remember them. I love this 60 jokes about aging that make growing old so much funnier. And believe me, you could go here every one a day for two every day for two months and get another poster. But look at this one. How How is the moon like dentures? They both come out at night. Scroll down is another very, one. I love. Very readers digesty. Yes, yeah. And, and what is a prize all people can win for aging? Atrophy. You know, John. A John, I have to tell you, this is the kind of stuff that you accuse me of all the time of really groaners. Okay. And yeah. How you pick this site, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you were thinking <laughs> of me. Uh, my husband cooks for me like I'm a goddess by playing burnt <laughs> offer. Okay, me. okay, John. Before before we lose our audience entirely, yeah. Uh, uh, so, thank you very much for joining us this week. Uh, we hope you'll come back again next week. If there's a topic you'd like us to research for you, we'd be delighted to do so. Just let us know, and um, uh, please, uh, if you like the kind of content we have, content we have here, or especially go on our YouTube channel, which you may be watching this on right now. Uh, find lots of topics uh, by lots of experts. Uh, well, we love our interviews with uh, 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 J.A. Jance every time she comes out with a new book and and uh, Herbie Pilato and and uh, Forgotten Hollywood with uh, Manny Pacheco and our virtual gourmet, uh, uh, John Mariani. We got lots of great stuff for you to see there. Please subscribe. Encourage us to keep 
spending our time doing this and bringing things that we think will make the second half of your life far more meaningful than just sitting around in a rocking chair because that's not what we do anymore. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.